May Elohim bless you guys. I have an encouraging message from a sister. Her name is Julie Webby. Today is September 27 of 2022. And here is an important message that I want to share with you because this is the same message that the Father has been sharing with me. And I want to share this message because it's so important for the body of Messiah to understand um, what the Father is doing with his children, how amazing it is. And here is a message. I'm going to put the link below so those of you that just want to go straight ahead and read it yourself, the message that she wrote on the website of 444prophecynews.com. You guys can go ahead and just uh, read it yourself. But I want to read it and share it with all of you. It is so ex exciting because we know the time that we're living in. We know that at any moment, everything will change. Change is coming. And this is the message. She sh shares a little bit saying the following. These recent messages are two of my past private messages and visions for your encouragement. And this is what the Father has shared with her. And I want to share it forward with you all so you guys can be encouraged with this. Listen to this. This was in August 1st, August 1st of 2022. So this was last month. My dear child, I am here. I am watching. I am listening. As you draw closer and closer to me, I will share more of the mysteries you desire. You who walk with me are given treasures and gifts from home. My kingdom where you already reside with me. I have a cup full and prepared by me for you. My king's cup overflowing with my love, my peace, my joy, and gifts specific to the intimate relationship we share together. I sing over you and long just as you do for the appointed time of our full consummation. It is upon you as I complete the finishing work in this realm. The preparations have been made for you. Your place is set. I tell you, of my plans before they happen and you will be instructed according to my trumpets sounding that I approach quickly. Your frequency has already been raised and is attuned to my spirit and just before I am to infuse you with mighty strength I will inform you from heaven. Colossians 1 verse 26 even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6. And hath raised up and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And she also expresses Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 14 through 17. It says, Sing, sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart. O daughter of Jerusalem, the Lord hath taken away thy judgments. He hath cast out thy enemies. The king of Israel even the Lord is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. And that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear you not. And to Zion, let not thy hands be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over you with singing. She also shared Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. 
Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which you have, that no man take thy crown. She shares September 3, 2022. I have my special places in the spirit that I like to go and talk to and sit and listen to Jehosha. It's usually the same couple of places. Today, I asked to go somewhere different, somewhere of his choosing. I suddenly found, I suddenly found myself in a very, very large wheat field, the wind blowing beautifully. Directly in front of me was Jehusha, Jehoshua, dressed in a long white linen robe, his hair blowing in the breeze. He was walking among the wheat, dragging his hands through it and smiling. I heard him then say to me with such joy in his heart and voice, the harvest is now ready. Hallelujah. Tears just began streaming down my face. She shares Revelation chapter 14, verse 14 through 15. And I looked and behold, a white cloud. And upon the cloud, one sat like unto the son of man, having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud. Thus is thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. Hallelujah. And I'm going to share something with you guys. A few days ago, I received a Rima word regarding about the harvest being ready. I read my word regarding that the angels are ready too to reap the harvest, you see. So I wanted to share that with you guys. September 3, September 3 through September 10 of 2022, so in this month, Jehoshua is again revealing that the time is now for his remnant. He is giving me understanding of what it means for us to be fully immersed in the bridal chamber now. He speaks. Now listen to this, brothers and sisters. Is there not now a holy hush amongst my own? As the world continues to be lulled into a deeper and deeper numbness and apathy by the ever increasing deceptions and distractions. It is my jewels who have been tuned to my spirit that have known in this new season to withdraw even further into the secret place of my heart. I have whispered to you that it is time to enter into the secret place to remain the chamber of intimacy, the chupa where I enveloped you, nourish you, and keep you from that which is not of me until I fully indwell you. The bridal chamber is where you, my beloved, wait for your groom. Having the keys to my kingdom, you come through the door carrying the oil of my anointing away from all things unclean and unholy. You are separated as kings and priests unto me, and you who have been refined by fire will know a new and glorious experience moving forward as finely tuned instruments of my glory. It is here that you will be shaped into perfection and complete the last task here in the inner chamber. You, my remnant, now move forward on your way to a visible, tangible victory in this realm. As heaven invades earth through you, 
This last push you have experienced have been the final push through the remaining draws of this journey. Before your birthing, there is a final contraction and then your next season begins. Would I cause you to labor and not bring forth? Does a mother not need to push the hardest right at the end of her labor in order for the child to come forth? For many, this last contraction has been the most difficult as the weariness of the journey coupled with the darkness that is palpable now in this realm has appeared almost impossible to overcome. But have I not told you that with me, all things are possible? You have my understanding that the victory is already won and my burdens are light. I am causing you to shed the last vestiges of self in order that I can fully enter in. Everything I have already taught you must now be applied. Your testing is complete. It is only the application of the knowledge, wisdom, and instruction you have been given that need be applied to every relationship, situation, and challenge that presents itself. Think of this as the drill before the main event. Does one not practice and apply the steps and instruction necessary to perform an important function prior to the actual event? It is in doing this now, moment by moment, that I will reveal to you any areas that are left that need a bit of adjustment or fine tuning so that you are walking in complete alignment in obedience. I correct and reprove those I love. Do I not? Continue to come to me as often as possible and keep your heart and your spirits attuned to my instruction. I have told you that you will hear from heaven and know that the moment has come. You have come to a weighty and significant moment in this season. And when I move mightily, as I am about to, shaking all things that can be shaken, nothing, nothing will remain the same. It will be a moment of birthing for the remnant, my jewels, and a sobering moment of stark realization for most others. There has always been a first in my design. The patterns reveal this in my word, but to those in the group to come after, I have offered victory as well in my kingdom eternal. Only the timing of the experience will differ from the first group. Each soul's experience moving forward is directly based on the intimacy of that soul and its spiritual maturity. All are completely loved. All are mine. A few will simply join me first and a very unique assignment that this earth has not yet seen. The scrolls are prepared. The council of elders awaits my beckoning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. A great, a great transfer is to take place. You hear this? A great transfer is to take place. There are many layers to this as I am instructing your spirits individually now. And then all will come together as one to fulfill my purposes. Arise, Zion. Arise and thresh. Put on your strength and your beautiful garments. For your king and groom desires you. My glory will rise up. My glory will rise upon you. 
and my favor is with you as our appointed time is come. Rejoice, as so sweet will be our reunion. Come, my firstborn ones, and allow my glory, my strength, my healing, and my love to pour through you unhindered. I love you, my daughter, my children. I love you, Jehoshua. Hallelujah. This, brothers and sisters, is an extremely powerful message given by our Messiah to our sister, Julie Webby. A very powerful message to all those that have ears to listen. I hope you have listened. Powerful message. Brothers and sisters, this message that you just heard, it is powerful. It is profound. It is deep. So definitely click on her message and read it for yourself. Father is speaking and we must take heed and we must share. We must share to our brothers and sisters that the time is now, that the time of the gathering is now and the bride has made herself ready. Shalom.